Today we're going to talk about knee extension. Knee extension is the ability to contract our quad in order to get our leg nice and straight. Typically, most people should have the ability to contract that quad enough to lift that heel off the ground ever so slightly. Now, we uh, typically don't need that total knee extension, that very end range, all that often in our everyday life. And therefore, just like anything, if we don't use it, we lose it. What happens then is sometimes a small muscle called our popliteus, which runs right in the back of our knee, will get hypertonic and not get uh, used quite as much. That creates a pull on the knee, which decreases our knee extension and makes it a little more difficult for our quad and our hamstring to work at the appropriate length. So sometimes we need to give that small popliteus a little bit of feedback for it to give us that full knee extension. So I like to use a lacrosse ball for this. The uh, tennis balls are a little too soft, so they don't give you quite as much feedback and quite as much uh, force that you can put through that muscle. The idea here is this is gonna go right underneath the back of our knee. From here, we're gonna shift our weight onto it. Sometimes I'll even lift my hips up ever so slightly, and we're just massaging up and down that spot behind the knee. I like to go back and forth here, go just a little bit underneath the knee and a little bit on top of the knee. If we feel any numbness tingling down into our leg, we do have a branch of the sciatic nerve that runs down and underneath here. We don't want to be compressing that too much. So if you start to feel anything down the leg, just come off that spot and find a little bit of a different one. Also, we don't want significant pain either. So anything about a four out of 10 or so, what happens is our body says, nope, don't like that. And it starts to just get tighter and tighter. So we want to keep it within a range that's maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but nothing crazy. And we're just coming back and forth and back and forth here, just kind of searching and hunting for all those spikes, those spots that feel a little bit tight. There are two other ways we can get at that muscle. One of it is to really get it in the crook of the back of that knee and then bend our knee up as well too. From here, I'm going to put pressure onto my knee so I feel it underneath there, and then I'm going to rotate my leg back and forth to massage that as well too. Last thing, sometimes we need a little bit more pressure into the back of that knee. You can use a textbook or a sturdy box. Right underneath here, and same exact thing. We're gonna, that gives us a little more leverage to push down into to get a little bit more force behind that knee. As always, if you have any questions, head on over to ChainReactionPT.com and we'll try and answer them there.